From the raw, unfiltered energy of Hole's music to the rebellious glamour on the red carpets, Courtney Love has always been a beacon of undeniable influence. Today, we are diving into the world of beauty through Courtney's eyes, exploring her all-time favorite beauty products that you can still buy today. So whether you're a diehard fan or a beauty enthusiast looking for inspiration from a rock and roll icon, let's uncover the secrets behind Courtney Love's time look. Courtney Love, born Courtney Michelle Harrison on July 9, 1964 in San Francisco, California, is a multifaceted artist whose career spans music, acting, and visual arts. Known for her raw, emotive performances and distinctive voice, Courtney Love has carved out a place for herself in the pantheon of rock music as the front woman of the alternative rock band Hole and through her tumultuous personal life has remained a figure of enduring fascination in popular culture. And now a word from our sponsors. Thank you, Dune's Journey, for sponsoring this video. Dune's Journey is a hidden object mystery game with a captivating detective story taking you back to the glamour of the 1920s. Each new scene takes you further through a thrilling murder mystery story that sets the main protagonist, June Parker, in a quest to solve the murder of her sister and uncover her family's many secrets. She also has a knack for getting into tricky situations and solving her friends' problems in her own witty ways. And I really find this game relaxing. I love looking at the old vintage decor from the 1920s and I just love the vintage aesthetic and it's really fun just doing it on your own time even before bed or in your downtime. I definitely use it as a way to relax and again the, it's really fun the 1920s theme and I just love the decor as well. And thank you again June's Journey for sponsoring this video. I make sure to download the link below in the description box and pin comment. All right, let's jump right back into the main video. Courtney's early years were marked by turmoil and frequent moves. Her parents, Hank Harrison, a publisher and road manager for The Grateful Dead, and psychotherapist Linda Carroll divorced when she was young. And she spent her childhood and adolescence in various communes and boarding schools, both in the United States and abroad. This nomadic lifestyle contributed to the sense of alienation and rebellion that would later be a part of her music and public persona. Courtney moved to Portland, Oregon in her teenage years, immersing herself in the punk scene and beginning her music career. She formed Hole in 1989 in LA, and the band quickly gained attention for its intense, raw sound and Courtney Love's confrontational stage presence. Hole's debut album, Pretty on the Inside, in 1991 received critical acclaim, but it was their second album, Live Through This, in 1994, released just a week after her husband, Kurt Cobain, from Nirvana took his own life. This catapulted the band and Courtney Love into the spotlight. And I do remember, I was like very young when this happened in 1994, and I do remember when Kurt Cobain took his own life because it was like all over the news and my older brother was really into Nirvana in the 90s and I remember my mom this being all worried about him because she, I guess on the news they made it seem like people who listened to his music would do the same thing and I remember it was a huge thing and I remember my brother, older brother had like this Nirvana shirt that he wore all the time so I kind of remember when this happened just through that. Courtney's love marriage to Kurt Cobain in 1992 placed her at the heart of the grunge music scene. The couple's relationship was highly publicized and often portrayed in the media as troubled, due in part to their struggles with substance abuse. Kurt Cobain's death in 1994 was a pivotal and tragic moment in Courtney Love's life, leading to intense media scrutiny and public speculation about her involvement in his death, allegations she had always denied, and I've always I haven't really dove deep into his death, but I have heard different things, like maybe she was involved, maybe he didn't take his own life. Let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of curious what other people think about this.
Beyond music, Courtney Love has pursued an acting career, showcasing her range and depth as a performer. She received critical acclaim for her role in the film The People vs. Larry Flint, and this earned her a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress. And honestly, I love this movie. It's one of my favorite movies, and I think I just love how it takes you through all the different decades and all the historical references with it. And I honestly didn't know much about Larry Flint before watching this movie. Um, I've seen it several times. I really like it. I think she did an incredible job in that film. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Her other notable film appearances include Man on the Moon and Trap. Hole released several more albums, including Celebrity Skin in 1998 and Nobody's Daughter in 2010, each reflecting Courtney Love's evolution as a musician and a songwriter. Despite facing legal and personal challenges, Courtney has continued to create music, embark on solo projects, and participate in various artistic endeavors, including fashion and visual arts. I honestly wish she acted more because I loved her so much um, in the 90s movies that she did in early 2000. I just feel like it would have been nice to see her in some more movies, but maybe she'll start doing that again. Courtney Love's influence extend beyond her music. She's been a style icon, a muse to designers, and a voice for feminist issues, challenging industry norms, and advocating for women's rights in entertainment. Her biography is a testament to resilience, creativity, and the enduring power of reinvention. Courtney Love's beauty evolution is as dynamic and compelling as her career, marked by its fearless transformation and defiance of conventional norms. From the grunge goddess of the early 90s to the more polished yet always distinct style in the years that followed, Courtney Love's approach to beauty has both reflected and influenced broader trends, all while remaining in her unique signature look. In the early 1990s, Courtney became synonymous with the grunge movement, not just through her music with Hole, but also through her distinctive style. Her beauty look was emblematic of the grunge aesthetic, messy smeared lipstick, often in deep reds and dark shades, coal rimmed eyes that gave the sense of sleepless nights and wild abandonment, and a complexion left deliberately pale and untouched. This was a look not of meticulous application, but of emotion and expression, breaking away from the polished and perfect perfect beauty standards of the 1980s, and her hair, often dyed blonde, ranged from tousled waves to straight and unkept styles, embodying the grunge ethos of raw authenticity. And I really do like her early 90s look when she was with Kurt Cobain. And as Courtney Love transitioned into acting and moved into the more mainstream visibility, her beauty style evolved significantly. By the mid to late 90s, especially noted during her promotion of The People vs. Larry Flint, Courtney Love adopted a more glamorous and refined look. Her makeup became more polished with precisely applied lipstick, defined eyes, and a more sculpted face that hinted of the classic Hollywood glamour. But she also had that little touch of rebellion in her look. And her hair is styled more deliberate and those kind of old Hollywood do's and it definitely shows her versatility from the grunge scene to the Hollywood red carpet look while still maintaining kind of her identity with a little bit of an edge and grunge to it. And throughout the 2000s, Courtney Love experimented with various looks from rock chic to experimental and avant-garde appearances, reflecting her ongoing evolution as an artist and public figure. This period saw her playing with different hairstyles, colors, and lengths, and her makeup ranged from minimalist to dramatic, always highlighting her fearless approach to self-expression. Courtney Love's beauty choices continue to mirror her personal and professional journey, embracing change while maintaining the essence of her bold old uncompromising spirit and Courtney Love's beauty evolution, a lasting impact on fashion and beauty trends, inspiring a generation to embrace imperfection and authenticity. And her grunge look has seen resurgences over the years. It's definitely back now, like 90s is everywhere. Um, I really love all of her looks from the 90s. Let me know in the comments below if there's a favorite look from Courtney Love. Do you prefer more of her 90s look or more into the later phase of the Hollywood glamour?
And now let's get into the heart of the video where we look at Courtney Love's favorite beauty products. So I found more current products that she uses and I also found some old articles and photos from the mid and early 90s. So we can see what she wore back then too. So to start with skincare, she said in an article that she loved Shiva Rose Glow Face Balm. And this face balm is really well known by a wellness expert and healer for her insightful blog, The Local Rose. Among her creations, the Glow Rose Face Balm stands out as a masterpiece in skincare. It's predominantly made from roses along with other secret ingredients. And I honestly love roses, so I feel like I would really like this one. And this is Courtney Love's go-to face cream. And she also loves SK2 Facial Treatment Mask. She says, I love these masks. The essence that it's soaked in is made of sake, apparently, but it, it never fails to get rid of the puffiness. I've actually never tried this brand, but I've always seen ads for it. And she also loves the cellular Documentation cream by the same brand and she also loved Vita A Combi 2 by Karen Herzog and she says she actually got this cream from Uma Thurman and she says who can complain about her skin because it's so good and this was back in the day when they had the same agent I haven't tried this brand as well and she also loves Biox Idea Miracle 24 face mask she loves it you wait 20 minutes and it dissolves into your skin and she says it's a Korean brand and she says she got this face mask from the Sundance Film Festival Festival. And I haven't tried this one either, but I'm really curious about it. She says that she loves it. And she also loves Kate Somerville Quench Cream. And she says it's amazing for moisturizing. She also uses Colbert MD and Dr. Brandt skincare products. And she also loves Sensei brand by Kanebo, which she got in Milan. And she also uses the Bliss Triple Oxygen Mask. And she loves Eve Lom's Cleanser. And she uses this to remove her makeup. And she says it works really well, especially if you're going out on the town and you want to remove your eye makeup. And for makeup, she says she loves Charlotte Tilbury. Um, she loves their lipstick and she says all the products work really well with her aesthetic and the pigments really last long and they work really well in photos. And she loves their lipstick. And I can tell that she probably uses a lot of her like more neutral shades and there's some 90s looking shades that um, would work well with Courtney Love that I think she mostly would wear. And she likes them because they're matte and not too glossy and they're always in her makeup bag. I honestly love a lot of Charlotte the Tilbury lipsticks myself and she also uses a brand makeup forever and she loves the Tom Ford lip glosses and she likes the shade wet violet and I really like the shade because it has a 90s kind of grunge vibe to it. it's like a darker purple shade and she also uses the NARS illuminator to give her that dewy glow and now let's step back in time to 1993 I found this one fascinating so I found a photo of her at her vanity from the 90s and you can see Clarence face cream and serum which was super popular in the 90s even Princess Diana used it and there's a shaving cream by Edge so who's to say that wasn't Kurt Cobain's there's also a bar of soap by Clinique you can see the green dish and I love Clinique in the 90s I do miss that face bar of soap with the little classic container and then there's a Clinique concealer that she used and then you can see a bottle of Rave Ultra Hold hairspray which is definitely a throwback and then there's a little black tube with gold accents and it's a lamb cone mascara from the 90s and for perfume she loves fracas and I do love this one too I bought it for a Natalie Wood video that I did it's a really nice gardenia perfume and Courtney Love says my perfume history is checkered but I found fracas in 1985 via an agent I shared with Uma Thurman it always comes back to Uma it was so white and floral and heady I always come back to fracas I love it most and it's my go-to it makes me so happy she says and her daughter also wears fracas and you can't no one can ignore you when you're wearing it and it's not annoying I do like it it is a nice classic I think I believe it's from the 60s and it has like beautiful flowers it's gardenia it's fresh but yet it's kind of mysterious and then I found another article from Mademoiselle magazine in 1993 and this really talks about all the perfumes that she likes and she says she loves hippie oils from body scent in Seattle I'm not sure if that place is still around and this was because this was from the 90s and she she loved them wearing them on stage because they mix well with her own like pheromones and body sweat. In the 90s, she said she loved Chanel number no. five, and she said all boys 
just loved it because it reminded them of their mothers. I mean, that's a classic Chanel number no. five. And then again, in this article, she mentions Fracas again as one of her favorite perfumes. So now we definitely know that she loves this one. She also wore Christian Dior Dorissimo. And she also loved Jungle Gardenia. So it makes sense that she would love the Gardenia because it's funny because Natalie would love that one too and Fracas. And she wore these when she was out in LA and she would even mix the Jungle Gardenia and the Fracas. And she says Fracas is like genius no matter where you go. And she said it would be a perfume for Joan Crawford or 1920 singer Libby Holman. There's also a Wellelda Iris bar of soap on her vanity and she mentions this in the article. And then she also mentions Chanel makeup Dana Taboo lipstick because it reminded her of Ireland where she briefly lived in the 80s and she also used cover girl makeup. And she also mentions Dana loves baby soft bath gel and she says it gives her a nostalgic vibe when she wears it and the original musky rose perfume was created in 1974 i've actually never gotten my hands on it but now that it's mentioned that it's musky rose i wonder if it's good i mean i know a lot of you guys have probably smelled that one let me know and there's also a photo of her using christian dior blue and gold striped compact containing a nice face powder so she definitely loved the high-end makeup with the chanel and the dior but she also used drugstore brands including the cover girl but then she wore Clinique as well which is more mid-range in my opinion and then the article ends from 1993 the long list of great smells that Courtney Love admires she mentions places that she loves she loves the smell of gas stations thrift stores the Seattle Public Library and Portland Oregon's Rose Garden she says she loves human smells female milk vapor drinks cappuccino on a slushy day and many other beauty products and toiletries. So let me know in the comments below if you've tried any of Courtney Love's perfumes. I really love the Fracas one. Now it's going to make me want to wear it again after doing this video. Also let me know in the comments below if you want me to feature any other Hollywood movie stars or singers and talk about their favorite beauty products. All right and I'll see you guys again soon and don't forget to check out some of my other videos.